Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in even the ocean. A brilliant and really well done game developed by Angel An uh, Analgesic Productions, published by everybody's favourite Rattleica Games and is available to you for quite a rather bigger than usual £14.99. Although from its release date from today, which is the 19th of August 2020, it's on sale for 11 99 Now this originally had come out on Steam in 2016, but has finally made its way to consoles and it is a brilliant game. But we can get, can get every single achievement and trophy in just 10 minutes. That's right, 10 minutes. So, you can either play the game full through, which I do highly recommend as, like I said, it is a fantastic game. Or you can watch this guide and get another 1000 or platinum in just 10 short soggy minutes. Not sure why soggy though. Uh, anyway, so <laughs> the achievements and trophies anyway, they are easy enough if you wanted to play the game full. It's basically for completing acts, visiting certain locations, looking in an art gallery and talking to a librarian and you can get it done within roughly around three to four hours. So, that's it then. Shall we begin the ease of another 1k slash platinum? Alrighty, let's do this. So, to begin with, there are a few options that we need to choose, and very importantly. So, there are four modes here. Very importantly, we need to choose the warp mode, which is on the bottom. So, basically, that, that gives us a choice of wherever the hell we really want to go and what we can choose. Obviously, if you choose story or full game, you have to start from the very beginning. And you're not getting the achievements within 10 minutes that way. So, yes. So, yeah. Choose warp mode and then choose viewed ending, which is the bottom one in the middle right there. So, viewed ending and then go ahead and click done. So, this will basically mean that every level is unlocked for us, which is Perfect, which is what we need. Now it's going to tell us to look at a few options, which we actually will very gladly. Go into gameplay options, go down and find triple speed, which is second from the bottom right there. Press A to click on that. And then go up to speedrun options and choose the fast dialogue slash act and area cards. Then just press B to back out and then go down to confirm settings. So that is the start of that then. We, like I said, from now, we will get the achievements within 10 minutes. So, first of all, you see the little tram there? Um, go to the left a little bit. There we go. Click on Apex Transit. And now go to City Entrance. Hold A to go wherever you want to go. Go down the steps to your left here and save the game. There we go. And then go down to Lower Area Transit just next to it. Next, choose Murex Park which was the second option, and this is basically the sort of end of the game now, but it's a long, long cutscene and dialogue system, especially this bloody cutscene right here. It does take a couple of minutes, but what I've done is actually just sped it through for you. Um, honestly, I have no idea what's going on at this point, but I will when I play through the full game. <laughs> so yeah, what I've done for this point, like I said, I've sped it up, but for you, it is going to take a few minutes to get through this cutscene and then the end credit. So just be aware of that. Perfect, so now that we finally hit the end, that can take sort of three to four to five minutes to be able to get to this point. Click of course, of course, because we're going to go back into the game, but what we're going to be doing now, very importantly, is actually completely quitting out of the game. So go down to Even Ocean, press the start button, quit out completely, and then when we load ourselves back in, as soon as we get back in, the rest of the act completed achievements slash trophies will unlock, which is rather nice. I don't know why he's trying to fight onions there in the uh, title, but, but hey, 
We've all fought worse enemy than friggin' onions, am I right? I'm looking at you, giant poo from Kong's Bad Fur Day. You know exactly what I mean, <laughs> but what a game. So anyway, once we load back in, as I said, we're going to get our act completed. So click continue the game, continue the game. You can either wait for Mold to unlock or you can just carry on, might as well carry on. And then go back into your game. Perfect, so we've already unlocked half the achievements. Uh, so from here, just go to the left, get out of this little save point bit, and then click the start button, go down to journal, that will unlock us yet another achievement. Again, you can have a look if you really want to. But we're getting this done as soon as possible. So then go up, talk to the painting using the A button, and then just nip on past it, and then just go into the apex transit right here once again. And then this time we are going to the art museum. And then when we get there, click on look around and that will unlock another achievement. And we're not going on a tour. Ain't got time for that, hon. We're going back to the city entrance where we came from and then just go all the way to the right. And now we're basically going to be on the world map. So try and follow where I go. We're going to the parents' house. It's basically sort of straight up and to the right a tiny bit. And then press the A button when you get on it to find Alepepe's parents' house. And then when we're done, you can just literally leave straight away. Go down and to the right, again, we'll sort of go past a statue over a bridge. And then sort of right again, this is where we'll find the Caravold Tunnel. So click yes right here. We're going to go for a little train right now. Puffed. No snacks on that train. Well, that was crap. Anyway, as soon as we enter, we're going to exit. So click on it again and then choose Northern Continent. Stupid no snack train. Although it's one carriage and it looks pretty beat down. So, But still, goddamn hungry, man. I'm a goddamn hungry fat man. And anyway, now we can go back up. Go to the right, all the way to the right. And you can find this little statue sort of thing. Click on it. And that will unlock another achievement. With this kind of look like Jesus disciple kind of thing. But we're not staying, we're going to exit the game right now. So click start, click exit, and then yes, return to the title. Because again, we... So, sorry guys, we haven't got time to stay. We'll come back a bit later. But we are going to be starting a new game. So a completely new game, new new save file. Ah, it doesn't really matter if you overwrite that one. Um, do not click full game. Not full game, we're going to go back down to warp. So warp mode at the very bottom, click yes for warp, and then go ahead on the right hand side, the top one, which is Boreas Heights, or Boras, <laughs> Boras Heights. Uh, click done when you're ready with that anyway, when you're done with boring ass, Boras. Confirm the settings, we're already on triple speed, etc. So we are golden showers, sorry, we're not golden showers, unless you like that stuff. Of course, hey, <laughs> I'm not one to judge, you know. We've all done stuff we're not proud of. Anyway, before I say too much, let's move on now. So now we're in this weird, very nice looking building actually. And we're all literally almost done with the game now, by the way. So click leave, we don't need to go anywhere else. Go back into the Apex Transit right now. Click on the city entrance. And then go down, we're going to be going... But Well, save the game. You I'm going to choice anyway, lower area transit, then go to the junkyard. This will get us another achievement for visiting said junkyard. And then we can just leave straight away. So go back down to the lower area transit. Go to the library. And then all we have to do is talk to the librarian. And that is it. A full 1,000, another platinum done. God damn it. This was pretty awesome. But like I said, I do highly recommend that you um, completely... Play the, uh, play the game full, because as I said, it is an absolutely fantastic game, to be fair. So, But that is it. That's literally a thousand out of a thousand and a platinum done in roughly about ten minutes. Happy days! Like I said, about ten minutes, because you've got to go through that long-ass, bitch-ass cutscene. But there it is. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I do hope this has helped and that you enjoyed this sort of ten minutes. Don't forget, you can find me on all my... Um, socials uh twitter facebook instagram and patreon 
And of course, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if this guide did help. Again, big massive shout out to TimG84 for continuing to support the show on Patreon. Thanks very much, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next one. Big love.